Hello everyone, through this video I will tell you that how can you split your images into its multiple channels that are blue, green and red and then merge them back. So without wasting any time, let's get started. So you have to begin by importing your necessary modules. So uh, you have to import your OpenCV and your OS and Globe. So these are the necessary things that you need to import. After that, you have to load your image. So I am going to load my image and store it in a variable named as original. And then I'm going to read my image by using uh, cv2.im read method. And then I'm going to pass the location of my image. So I'm going to be using this image and I'm going to split the uh, split this image into its different color channels that are blue, green and red. So this image is located inside this folder. I'm going to copy the whole path and I'm going to paste it here. And then I'm going to write the name of my pic. So it is going to be pic1.jpg. After that, I have to simply split my image into its different corresponding channels. So I'm going to write here B. So I'm going to split my image by using cv2.split function. And inside this, I have to pass my name of my image, which is going to be original. Now my split function returns three variables which are blue, green and red. So in normal convention, we basically describe our image. We basically load our images in the RGB format that is red, green and blue. But in case of OpenCV, we have uh, the images open up in different format that is BGR that is blue, green, red. The color channels are the same, but their uh, arrangement are different. Now all my work has been done. My uh, my image has been split into its different corresponding channels. You can see that by typing cv 2im show and here I'm going to write here my blue channel blue, cha blue channel and then i'm going to pass here b which is my uh, acronym for my blue channel now i'm going to write here cv2 dot wait key uh, which will make sure that the image continues to stay on the screen now if i run it by pressing ctrl shift and f10 you can see that my blue channel has appeared now let us try to visualize all the different channels that uh, all the other channels which are green and red. So I'm going to copy this down and paste it here two times. And this is going to be green. So this will be my green channel. And this is going to be my red channel. So I'm going to write here red. Now if I run it, you can see this is my blue channel. If I close it, my green channel appears if i close it my red channel appears now we have uh, we have been successful in splitting our image into different uh, into the different channels now i'm going to merge these channels that are that is i'm going to merge this blue green and red channel into the single image in order to get my original image in order to do that i have to simply use my cv2 dot merge I have to simply use my cb2.merge and then I have to pass here my channels. So my uh, so the channels uh, name of the channels in which I split my image are B, G and R. So I'm going to pass it here. So it is going to be B comma G comma R and the name of my new image is going to be merge. So this is the name of uh, of the new image that I, will be, that I will be getting after merging these three channels. Now if I show it by pressing I am show cv2 dot I am show and then by giving the name of the GUI box as merged image and the name of the variable which contains my new image which is merged and now if I show it okay now if i show it you can see that this is my blue channel this is my green channel this is my red channel and this is my merged image which i got back by merging my blue green and red channels so that was all for today guys i hope that you understood this video well and we will meet in the next video until then bye bye